What's going on guys and gals? This is Gaming for Hope coming at you with another vlog. And this one, it's gonna make some people upset. So because of that, I wanna start off this video by telling you I have no intent on offending anybody or making anybody upset in any way. I promise you that's not where I'm going with this. I just keep seeing a lot of people glorifying and talking about this idea of the grind. And I wanna expose the effects it has on a person. If you're here and you haven't yet, would you please do me a favor, pause this video and click that subscribe button for me real quick. Ring the notification bell, it's right next to it so you can stay up to date with all the videos that I post every single week. More and more as I kind of expose myself to the internet, I am seeing, that sounded really bad. What I meant by that was when I am seeing things on the internet, I'm seeing more and more people talk about this idea and glorify this idea of the grind. Now, many people will refer to the grind in many different ways. Many people kind of call the grind and define it as many different things, but I think everybody, regardless of their individual definitions, would agree that the grind in the modern sense is a 24-7, 365 day effort towards a goal of some kind. This is not only completely stupid, but it is a perfect recipe for burnout. For those of you that are unfamiliar with what a burnout is in regards to the grind, because they are two things that go hand in hand, I promise you. The burnout portion of it is basically the point where you have done this 24 seven, 365 day effort towards whatever goal, doesn't matter what it is, and your body eventually decides to tell you you need to stop and you choose not to because the grind is more important. Because the human body is only built to withstand so much and there's so many things I could go into that would support that, but I think that if we're all going to just acknowledge it for what it is, our bodies can handle amazing things. I've seen people go through crazy things physically, mentally, and all that good stuff and come out on top, but within reason. They always had some kind of a rest schedule, but that's a whole other thing. I do wanna make myself completely clear. I am not discouraging you or anyone you know from pursuing a goal with everything that you have as far as ambition goes. What I am saying is that pursuing that goal with every waking moment is extremely naive. Allow me to explain what I'm saying with an example. I'll use me as the example. As many of you may know, earlier this year in January, I decided to take a very premature leap of going full time into content creation. There are a whole ton of reasons that taking that leap was completely premature. But the biggest one being, I really wasn't there yet. The community wasn't at that level. I was putting an unnecessary burden on an amazing community. And because of that mistake, I've lost a lot of the members of the community and I can't blame them. I don't blame them at all. I just have to try my best to recuperate, try, for try again, try forward. You knew what I meant, try again and go forward. In January, I started streaming 40 plus hours a week on Twitch and putting at least five videos a week out here on YouTube. And that does sound ideal, especially if you're a full-time content creator. We get this idea that a full-time job is 40 hours, so at least putting 40 hours in plus a little more because you're working for yourself sounds reasonable, right? And you're right, 40 hours, even 50 hours a week is probably reasonable, I would think. But that's not the grind. The grind is way further than that. You have to keep in mind that the Twitch streaming and YouTube content creation alone were taking me 50 hours a week. 40 hours of streaming, five videos per week on YouTube was minimum two hours per video to record, edit, and upload. It means I was spending 50 hours a week just in that. That does not count everything that I was doing offline, so to speak everything going on outside of content creation. By the end of January, I was completely burned out. My streams were far less consistent. I certainly wasn't streaming 40 hours a week anymore. I was completely calling off entire days, sometimes multiple days in a row. And on top of that, my YouTube schedule fell apart in a ball of flames. So learning from that throughout the year, I started to gradually lower the amount of time I spent in content creation as far as streaming live as well as creating YouTube videos. And I started to increase time doing things outside of that, things like going to the gym, spending time with my wonderful, loving wife and very supportive, in fact. And the one other thing that I did that really did help me a lot, and that's more of a personal thing, is I started to get involved with more church groups. As I began to do that and transitioning from being 40, 50, 60, 70 hours a week of content creation to probably closer to 20, maybe 30 a week. 
and increasing other things, I can tell you right now, the quality of the content I started to put out was far superior to that of the other stuff before. So really, if we wanted to boil down what the grind really causes a problem in is the quality versus quantity. You can absolutely stream 40 hours, 50 hours, 60 hours a week, and then do YouTube on top of that. But the quality of your videos and the quality of your live stream is just not gonna be that good. And I do wanna make sure I'm clear. This isn't just content creators, streamers, YouTubers, whatever you wanna call us. This isn't just for us. This is for people that are pursuing whatever they want to pursue in a similar fashion in this grind concept. I won't say names, but I saw a 14 year old kid who is an extremely popular Fortnite streamer say in a YouTube video that you have to stream every day. You can't stop, the grind doesn't stop, or you don't succeed as a streamer. There's a few things I want to recommend to you if you're going to be pursuing a goal of any kind, and this is just coming from a guy who maybe isn't very successful right now, but I promise you, there's gonna be a day for that. And you'll be able to come back to this video and go, hey, he was onto something. First thing, please, for the love of all that is good and holy, do not pursue anything. I don't care if it's a girl finishing college. I don't care if it's uh, streaming. I don't care what it is. Do not pursue it 24 seven, 365. I promise you, you're gonna burn out. You'll drop out of college. You'll quit a job that you're trying to get up into management with. You will stop streaming entirely. This is why we see that a lot in the content creation world where someone will start and then completely stop and then start again and completely stop. I also am guilty of that. Second thing, please keep some incredible friends and family around you during the time that you are pursuing whatever it is you're pursuing. I don't care again what it is specifically, but whatever you're pursuing, even if you're giving it everything you have and not grinding, but you're giving it everything you've got in the time that you, you have for it, when you go spend time with your family and friends, plug into them. There is something beautiful about, even for me being a married guy, going to my wife and saying, honey, this has been difficult. Can I just like sit down and talk to you for a minute? She's always willing because she's an amazing woman. I'm not just saying that because she can watch this video. I also surround myself with incredible friends that I can, if my wife is at work and I really need somebody to talk to, I can get a hold of one of my friends. I can get a hold of Carl, I can get a hold of Kevin. Those are the two that come to my mind almost instantly. My worst case scenario is I can call up my mom or my grandma, depending on the time of day for my grandma, but I can call either one of them up if it's really just an emergency and I need to talk to somebody because I'm just having a day, because we all have them. That is why this community's motto is so important to me. Life is difficult, you shouldn't do it alone, right? That's why I'm telling you guys that. I don't just tell you guys that, I live it. I do my best to incorporate you as a community into that. And because I'm only one person, I can't have thousands and thousands of friends. So as that continues and we continue to grow, I've got to help you guys form friendships from within the kinship, within you guys, in the comment sections here on YouTube. And when I get back to live streaming in February, in the wonderful live chat that's there, that can sometimes get a little sketchy or kind of funny, which sometimes goes hand in hand. <laughs> You can also, by the way, at any point, all of my videos, I don't normally plug it, but they're always including a Discord link. If you haven't joined our Discord yet, jump in there. There's a little over 100 people in there that would love to just get to know you, form a friendship. Even if it is online, it's still way better than not having those amazing friendships that we all need to get through life. The last thing I wanna say, as far as recommendations go from a guy who isn't very successful at the moment, but will be in the future, take time to slow down. I spoke to a college student recently that said that they were not able to take a half an hour to just do nothing every day. If any of you are going through a point where you can't just take a half hour out of your day, I would recommend an hour, but a half hour at least out of your day to just do nothing. You've booked yourself too tight and you should reconsider everything you're doing a little bit and start back towards the beginning. If you do have any other questions, maybe I didn't address something that's on your mind now that we're talking about the grind and the fact that I have a very firm stance that it is a very dumb concept, feel free to hit me up in the comments. I do my best to reply or at least like or react or however you wanna phrase it here on YouTube to every comment. I'm not always good at it, but I promise you I'll do my best. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like. Never forget that life's difficult. You shouldn't do it alone. I'll see you guys later.